Hello awesome people, welcome to Parcel Creation Video Tutorial. In this video, we are going to look at how to design a one-week celebration flyer in Adobe Photoshop. Merry Christmas to all of you. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please make sure to share your final design on Merry Christmas that we did on this flyer so you can see mine. So please share with me on social media, Parcel Create on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram, or you can also Check the link. You are going to see my WhatsApp number. WhatsApp me with your final design and let me see what you were able to get. Please, if you guys want to see more videos from me like this one, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Smite the bell icon so that if I put up a new video, you are going to get notified. And also remember to share with your friends. Without further ado, let's jump right in. So first of all, we create a new document as always, control N for a new document and we are going to use a3 size so i'll go to print select a3 click on create so a new canvas is going to open for me then control o to preview it 100 percent all right so from here i'm going to start by developing my background and i have my images that i'm going to use over here so you can see they are all here and please i will leave a link to download this and you can see that this one also and you can see that this one also after i finish with the design i put this one on the mock-up and i'm going to leave a link in the description below where you are going to place your final work on the mock-up to look like this so first of all i'll drag and drop this into photoshop so this is going to be the solid background i'm going to use i'll increase the size and i'll position this image on top Click on enter to accept changes. Then from here, I'm going to reduce the opacity. So I'll reduce the opacity to maybe 40%. Let me go a little further, like 30. All right, so from here, I'll go back to my resource files and I'm going to bring this Kente in. So you know, Ghana, we love Kente. This is our trademark. And I can tell you something that Africa, especially Ghana, we really loved. So I'll put this one here and I'm going to make a duplicate and then I'll, I'll bring that one over here. You can see very nice. Then from here, I'll go back to my source file and I'm going to bring in this, leave it on the canvas and I'll position it somewhere here. All right, so from here, I'll zoom in and then I'll position this one like how I want it. And lastly, I'll bring in my image that I'm going to use. So you can see my image is over here. I'll drag and drop this image in. And please, I'm not going to leave this image for you. You have to find your own image and use in this project. All right, so I'm going to type one week observation or one week celebration. Then from here, I'll open my character to and I'll change the color to red. And then I'll select only the down one and I'm going to change this one from bold to extra bold. Then I'll make sure that it is a bit closer to the top one. All right, from here, I'll make a duplicate of this. Ctrl T for free transform, right click and I'm going to flip this one upside down to get this nice effect. And you can see this one is kind of combined with the background. So I'll go to FX. Then I'm going to add outer glow. A layer style is going to open for you. And with the outer glow selected, I'll have the option to select from white. And then I'm going to increase the size of this. And then I'll increase the spread and then i'll also increase the opacity and this is going to be the outer glow for now i'll leave this one as screen click on ok so you can see before and after from here i'll bring this frame in and i'm going to scale it to my satisfaction then click on ok to accept changes then I'm going to make a duplicate of this picture, make it smaller. Then I'll bring it over here. So here is the frame and here is the picture. So I'll bring the frame 
beneath the picture and I'm going to draw ellipse around the frame make sure it cover the whole part of the frame then I'm going to position it here and I will change the color from black to white and then I'll bring it beneath or I'll bring the picture on top and I'm going to create a creeping max to create this image so that I'm going to have it level then with the image selected, I'll go to blending mode and change from normal to luminosity to make this one black and white. All right. So from here, what I would like to do is that I'm going to select my whole background. So this is the first background. I'll add this one and I'll add this one. Control G to group. And I'm going to name this one as background. BJ for short. And I'm going to lock the background because I want to have a solid background and then I'm going to move this one a little bit on top then with my rectangle tool selected I'm going to draw a shape where I'm going to write the name all right so from here you can see I have stroke check I'll select no fill for stroke and then I'll double click on the rectangle and I'm going to use gradient and with the gradient I'm going to use one side red and the other side a deep red and the other side a deep red like this click on ok click on ok then i'll select linear for this and the angle i'll leave it at zero then i'm going to drag this one so that it's going to show like it is coming from left to right all right so from here i would like to brighten up this red a bit click on ok click on ok this is the final look of the gradient and i would like to make this image a little small then i'll bring this one a little on top bring this here bring this one closer and then i'll make this one a bit larger then i'll also make this one larger also okay so i'm trying to position these things to align the way that i want it to be all right so from here i'll go to my resource file grab my flower and i'm going to position the flower over here okay then the name is going to come here but before then i'll select this rectangle shape ctrl j to make a duplicate so you can see there are two now then from here i will select the shape two and i'll have the options at the top and with the options i'll select no fill and with this one i'm going to select and with this one i'm going to select the stroke but i'll use the broken line i'll not use straight line and then I'll change the size to maybe five and the color to white. All right. So from here, control T for the free transform. And I'm going to scale this one in and I'll zoom in a bit and I'm going to scale this one also in. Click on OK to accept changes. Then let's see the results. So you can witness that we can see the effect that we apply because the effect is still on it so let's uncheck the effect or simply when the effect is on we we can simply drag the fx into the beam and we are going to see the effect that we have applied over here all right so from here we can select the test tool and add the name as necessary i'll change the color to white and I type this one in caps, then I'm going to use Work Sans. Anyone who has been following my tutorials knows that this is a font that I really love. Work Sans, so you can check my top 10 font that I really love. It's on the channel already, so you can go there, scroll through my channel, and you are going to see my top 10 font that I use daily in my project. All right, so from here, I'll position the name like this, and I'm going to also add another name, AKA. 
on to Mary and I'm going to align this one to the center. Then let me increase the size of this. All right, so from here with the ellipse tool selected, I'm going to draw a circle and then I'll change the color to red. So I'll make a sample from here and I don't want any stroke. So you can see we have the stroke check here. I'll select no fill. And then from here, I'm going to add the age over here. So you can see when you are making a funeral poster, it should bear the age of the person. So aged. Reduce the size. All right, so this is the age. I'll make it as large as I can. Then if you like, you can add yes. All right, so you can see where we are cutting to. We are almost done. I love it, the venue, the date, and the time. So I'll start by the date. It is Tuesday. I will use a red color. Tuesday, 21st December. 2021 and it is happening at here then the time is from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. drag this one to the middle and then I'm going to increase the size of this then I'll select all of it and with my character panel open, I'm going to reduce the size. I'm going to reduce the spacing to maybe 30, 48. Let me go for 40 and then I'll change this one from extra bold to regular. Select all of them and I'll align left. Then I'll try to position this one, increase its size. And lastly, all friends and sympathizers are warmly welcome. I'll make this one small or even still, I can bring this one a little down, align center, and then I can increase the size. Then, I'm going to reduce the spacing and this one can also be here. All right, this is a simple way you can design a one week funeral poster in Adobe Photoshop. If you enjoy watching this video, please don't forget to leave this video a thumbs, subscribe if you haven't and also share with your friends. All right, and also please if you have any comment or if you want to ask any question, or if you want to, or if you want us to get a design done for you, you can link up with us on social media, Instagram, I am Pasolo Create, and you can also link up on Twitter, Facebook, I am Pasolo Create. All right, so from here, we are going to put this one on a mock-up for it to look like this, so you can see how very nice it is. So if you present your work, this way to your client, they are going to love it. They are going to feel the vibe that you are trying to portray. So let's try to do the same thing and see. So with my mockup open, I'm going to open here. You can see change design. Then I'm going to delete this one or hide it. And I'm going to open the design that we just did. Then I'm going to select on top of the last layer then i'll hold ctrl alt shift e so it is ctrl alt shift e 
and it is going to create a stamp visible layer then i will drag this one into the new canvas or the new document it's open i will resize this to fit the canvas afterwards i will click on close and it will say save changes to adobe photoshop before closing yes then i'll open the mockup file when it is done loading you are going to see the final result of the design all right so this is the final design that we have you can see it's very nice it's just like what i earlier did you can see the difference between this one and what we have just done is that the background for this one is, is a bit more and here you can see it's a bit lighter so thank you for watching this video from beginning to end until next time peace we love you check your screen the two videos we pick for you to enjoy next